Wait, wait, wait. What the hell just happened here? Undoubtedly, Tanya had on her side speed, a greater agility, and a much more substantial training, but in the end, she was literally overwhelmed by Nanoha in almost all the other stats. In many occasions, Tanya's speed gave her the chance to kill off opponents that never realized their presence until the very end. But, even if Nanoha's reflexes are in no way enhanced by her magic, rising her ability to accurately soon, apart from being an AI, has nullified one of the main agent holes of the Devil of the Rhyme. As we can see, Rising Heart is able to reply to even a sudden threat, generating in less than a second a barrier powerful enough to withstand even strong attacks. Combined strength of Tanya and her entire team's attacks could have been a mortal threat for many opponents, but not for Nanoha. Nanoha has previously ended up in situations where lots of enemies fought with firearms, but even without having to use shields, her barrier jacket in some instances was more than enough to protect her. Getting Nanoha somehow immobilized would have made a combined attack more efficient. Okay, maybe just a little, but to stop this little white demon, looks like not even having a building collapsing on her is enough. Nanoha has often found herself trapped under tons of debris and other heavy stuff, but thanks to her defensive abilities, she not only has walked off of it with hardly a scratch, but she has also managed to counterattack, taking her opponent by surprise. And from the moment that in Tennis Universe there are no accounts of immobilizing spells, fire power concentration was everything that allowed the Devil of the Right to keep her opponent at bay. But on Saloon, all Tanya had to destroy Tanoha was her illusions. Tanya's illusions have surprised Nanoha in the best possible moment, but it's not like she or Rising Heart need that much time to get a reading on her enemy. Tanya's always faced enemies that wanted to kill her and based all her red tactics of being more lethal than them. Tanya's habit to avoid a fight until the last has become a strong point. We could also mention how she neutralized one of Tanya's best tactics, hand-to-hand -hand combat. She may be small, but Tanya is strong and prepared enough to fight larger and stronger opponents armed even with a simple knife. But Nanoa, at this point of her story, has yet to receive their training that one day will make her lethal in hand-to-hand -hand combat too, so she prefers to avoid a physical confrontation if possible, and speed allowed her to maintain distance from Tanya most of the time. Talking about speed, both Tanya and Nanoha can easily reach a speed of roughly 200 miles per hour in level flight. However, while Tanya's Type 95 allows her to easily go twice that fast, Nanoha's Formula Mode makes her capable to cover half a mile in just 4 seconds, a speed of 500 miles per hour. Almost the speed of an A320 Airbus! Even if we look at the ceiling, there can be no discussion. Tanya can easily reach a height between 15 and 20,000 meters. But on the other hand, Nanoha managed to go and reach the satellites orbiting the Earth, a height of at least 300 kilometers. In other words, this little white demon can also fight in space! Besides, unlike Rising Heart, the Type 95 does not give Tanya an increase in strength or alternative forms to get more powerful. That means that during the battle, the gap in power between her and Nanoha did nothing but widen. However, more than 5 power of speed, this fight has been decided by another base element, defense. Tanya uses her agility to dodge the enemy's bullets and can use barriers when needed, but in the end all she has is a flight suit without any particular protection. In other words, even a common bullet is enough to injure her. We can see that in how she was very much aware the blast caused by Colonel Sue could have killed her. Making a speed confrontation, Nano was thrown down from the 8 to 20 meters, crashed by an excavator, hit by a rock hammer, smashing in rocks many times, and always survived. More than anything else, Nanoha withstood an explosion while in outer space. Comparing the blast radius with that of the Earth, it can be estimated that the energy released was in the range of 1800 megatons, the equivalent of 112,000 Hiroshima nuclear bombs. And everything that I got was just losing an arm! All said and done, Tanya simply did not have anything up her sleeve capable of hurting Nanoha in any serious manner. In the end, by the Factor X, Tanya should have considered Factor N. 
The winner is Takamachi Nanoha.